world i'm logan and welcome back to me doing a reaction thing uh to kaiju number eight um all right uh kaiju number eight episode five we met a humanoid uh, kaiju just like i've kind of lost episode but he's off being part of the cleaners. It, it would be kind of cool if we actually could follow the perspective there now. Uh, and what sort of weirdness is he doing? I wonder who the individual he took over. Like, did he just kill that human? Or is he, did he absorb himself into that human? Um, like, who's in control? Is it the kaiju? Is it the man? Um, yeah. I mean, the way he discussed it, right? It has to be the kaiju because... The way he discussed it was, uh, how do you, he didn't know how to hold a cell phone. He didn't know how to answer it. So that, that already solidifies that he's not human, but I don't know. Um, also in today's episode, right? Uh, what's going to happen to Kikaru? Is she going to be healed enough? Like is technology advanced enough for people to heal from their injuries, right? Right away. Uh, like what's going to happen next to the selection process to recruit the cadets? Are they going to continue doing them even after what just happened with the monster thing is right um that's a good question as to what's going to happen in today's episode unless they're testing turns into something else you know like uh, it's not all about the power it's all it's all good about the mind and the cardio right so they can test them in different scenarios so Let's see what happens in today's episode. Sorry, before we check out the reaction, like, subscribe, do all those cool things, Patreon, comment, yeah, let's go, reaction, let's go, yeah. Alright, here we go. These two just got mail. However this turns out, it's my last shot. Will the path of one take me all the way It's like their acceptance, uh, um, recruitment letter, maybe? Well, it's pretty obvious they're gonna get recruited anyway. I noticed that Shinomiya fanboy isn't here, though. I heard you got the highest score out there. So she's okay. She's up and about. You know? Oh, yeah, it's you. You were the one running around with that old dude. Right away, Kikawa. My bad. Is she Kawa? Iharu Furuhashi. Iharu. You call me Iharu, Benno. Iharu. Iharu, Hiraru. So, anyway, old dude flunked. I'm just gonna call him Pink Floyd. <laughs> this music, this though. Representing our incoming officers. As of this moment, the 27 here assembled are officers of the Defense Force. 27. Your actions prevented any loss of life. Oh, All right, and she's taking uh, accountability for something she I didn't do. Kafka, Hibino. These words are really meant for you. So why aren't you around to hear them? Oh, you wait, he's not there. I didn't even realize that. About me like I was some scared little girl. Glad you're okay. It's he humiliating. Didn't... Sorry to pop in here in the middle of everything. Wait, he was late? It's old dude. <laughs> I love that. It's How old dude. Kafka Hibino failed. Lowest score on the fitness portion. Even so, his knowledge of the kaiju's weaknesses helped his teammates in the fight. Yes. Around, chasing kills he wasn't going to get. He prioritized the mission. Speaks to a rare presence. Thank body. you. But more than that. <laughs> The guy is funny as hell. And that counts for something. Okay. <laughs> I can't say for sure he'll ever be a general officer, but I'll give him a trial run as a cadet in my platoon. Oh, wow. In his platoon? I had this man sit out the induction ceremony. What is with this music? I'm loving it. Is that the first time they've ever seen dead kaijus too, right? I swear! Uh, I that was supposed to be his... That was supposed to be his, uh... Inside voice. Oh no! This guy's a serious case, Captain! Did she leave smiling? Is that a smile I saw? Well, I, I can't believe I caught that! That was a smile! So I'm gonna keep you real close until I figure out what that is. Oh, so he's deducing something here. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I need to talk to you. Oh. So to I don't see why I gotta get up. Yes, come with me! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a good chance they neutralize 
finds you on the spot. Either that or keep you as a lab rat. Seriously? But know this. If you turn out to be just another kaiju looking to bring destruction to humanity, I'll put you down without a second. Wow, that's kind of scary. Oh, more training. Damn, he's good. Fire training exercise complete. Time, 2 minutes, 35 seconds. Estimated unleashed combat power, 80%. Yeah. No. Either he's good or they train him good. Let's go! Alright, Pink Floyd, let's go. Estimated unleashed combat power, 20%. Get wrecked! <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, wow. Of course. It, <laughs> I, I'm waiting for Kafka. He's, he's definitely not gonna break the record. Huh? Six minutes. Wow. <laughs> Bunch of dorks. What is this weird painting there? Wow. Yo, has old dude secretly been checked the whole You want to protect the country? Oh my god, he's kind of. Yeah, laugh it off. I was going to wreck your metabolism when you were I'll have you know I've lost weight. See how much that blast stomach helps you in all. No way, I thought he was actually muscular. That's so funny. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> wow, so we got the brotherhood there. Were there actually other girls? I didn't even notice that there were other girls. I was just noticing your hot body. Yeah. With the tiger. She's leaves at home. Oh, wow. How about you? Partly family stuff, but we're mostly in the same boat. Captain Ashio is my inspiration. Mine too. Man, I saw that one girl. Really? It's, it's all Mina? It was when I saw her in that documentary. You and Captain Ashio? With childhood friends? Yes. <laughs> you both promised to join the defense force together? The childhood promise that you realized? Gosh, I better help out before I start getting pruned. Slow down. <laughs> Give me all the information. Oh God, they 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 all. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> Can you imagine working out the next day all sunburned? That would be the loss. Well, we got Montage. Oh, the tiger. They're like Kafka. Interesting. The defense force will hear every word of every conversation held within these dorms. Creepy. Ooh, creepy. And be careful with what you talk about. Ah, I know that you're not taking my place without a fight. <laughs> yes, understood, also, sir. I wouldn't recommend getting too attached to your colleagues in this business. When you do what we do, anything can happen to anyone. Anytime. Oh, you don't have to get too dark. Come on, man. Damn, is this how the episode's gonna end? I guarantee it's gonna end. <laughs> what, uh, what, not even a lucky guess, but like, pfft, I, I knew it was gonna end there. I knew it, I knew it. It just felt like, uh, end of the episode. Yay! And also, a little thing that's not that important, but the ending theme song, at first, it was too quirky, too lively, too very slice of life -ly. You know, nobody like to do, 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 do. <laughs> It's catchy. I like it. It's a bop. Every time it starts, it's like I, I go with it. Do, 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 do. Okay, you get you get the idea. I like the song. Anyway, in today's episode, man, a lot of characters that we got to meet. Uh, we got to meet Pink Floyd, uh, the other dude with blue hair. There's the other guy. And the other guy. There's girls. Guys, 
Shell of people, I'm, I'm going to start writing notes, names down to remember who they were and are. He knows to take in today's episode, Sojuro uh, took Kafka, even though he kind of like lost and failed. He's like, you know, it's better off to keep him because uh, his uh, not necessarily skills per se or maybe physical skills, but his mindset is very good to use. Like I was saying a few episodes ago, like his mindset of uh, coordinating um, the you know the cadets, his teammates together in order to defeat a monster, right? Like that's very essential too. Uh, strategy, right? I like how you opened up a little bit to Kafka in the sense of like, yo, don't get too close to your teammates because you're gonna end up losing um, people here and there. And maybe I didn't even think about it till now. Now that I'm actually talking about it that maybe that's the keyness to Sojuro, where like maybe he lost uh, a great teammate to a kaiju and that's his like uh thing he hates all of them because they took something from him and it can never be repaid you know uh it's always war with the kaiju so i don't know what he's gonna feel like that when he finds out with kafka seeing that he really enjoys his like i don't know horribleness and with care he thinks he's a funny dude and you need that energy in the defense force right but um man that reveal is gonna be amazing between kafka and sojuro overall it was a great episode seeing uh a kafka uh bantering around with the other guys and and then them talking about why they're doing what they're doing and also having a sort of uh I don't know, a idolization uh, to Mina, her being this badass warrior or soldier, right? Saving some of them. And then also having Kefka growing up with her as a child and having that promise of being soldiers together, right? It all comes full circle. It's time so cool. All right, cool episode ended in a cliffhanger there. The alarms went off. What is going to happen? in the next episode.